Are you a gift giver? I am. Yeah. But I it's like it. getting gifts also. Me too. It's my love language, <laughs> by the way. All right. Well, this holiday season, shoppers are expected to spend more than ever. Yeah. The National Retail Federation says people expect to spend nearly 900 bucks on gifts, on food, and other seasonal items. And when it comes to buying gifts for family, but mm -hmm. also for friends, not everyone is on the same budget. Yeah. And financial expert Patty Asai is here to help set financial boundaries with your family for the holidays. Yes. Welcome to being in person on the show. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right, so you're going to have to break it down for us. Yes. Some people feel guilty about buying gifts. What's driving them to feel like they have to do it? It's because we've been brainwashed to think <laughs> that the holidays mm -hmm. are about getting gifts and giving gifts. And we also want to keep up with the Joneses. You know, yeah. we want to compete. We want to impress people. That's why we're just so driven to buy gifts. All right, so a, a survey, a recent survey found that a few years ago, 71% of people would still buy gifts, even if it meant going into debt. Mm, uh, yes. What are your thoughts on this? That, that just blows my mind. That is such a financial mistake. It's huge. Over half Americans go into debt buying holiday gifts, mm -hmm. right? And over 31% of them still have that debt after a year. Wow. So yeah, they're still paying that off and it's a huge financial mistake. Under no circumstances do you go into debt buying holiday gifts. Yeah, you don't want to have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Exactly. And was exactly. <laughs> exactly. How can someone though determine what their budget should be for gift giving? Okay, here's the rule. You're not supposed to spend more than 1.5% of your annual income on gifts period. Wow. So okay. that is your budget for the year. That's all you're going to spend. In total. In total. For every holiday combined. For every holiday. Wow. All right. So what are some ideas for people then who simply can't afford gifts or it's just not in their budget? Yes. I love DIY gifts. Mm. So basket of cookies. I got flavored olive oil one year, which was amazing. Yes, mm -hmm. I loved it. So things that you can't buy, but you make people love those gifts and it's relatively inexpensive. It'll cost maybe five to six dollars a gift for you to do. Mm -hmm. You know what else is a trap this year? What? I was actually looking to buy some Rockette tickets. And they had, you could buy now and pay later. Yes, yeah. that, that is a trap. Uh -huh. is like trapping a lot of people. That is a trap. Don't fall into it because you are not going to be able to pay it later. And that is just going to totally mess up your credit. Oh. All right, well, how can an adult who's struggling financially still give a gift to a child? Because it's easy to explain to an adult or adults mm -hmm. know that right. you're on a, on a tight budget. But then you got the little kids yeah. in the family. Yeah, yeah. Here's the hack the dollar store. Do oh, not goodness. sleep on the dollar store because kids don't know the difference between an expensive gift and an inexpensive gift. Mm -hmm. They just love gifts. Yeah. So go to the dollar store, load up, they're going to love it. Okay, so in the past you have exchanged gifts with your yes. families. Let's say this year you just can't do what you used to. How do you explain that to them? You just have to have a very open and honest conversation and say this year I'm prioritizing other financial goals, right? Mm -hmm. And I will not be participating in gift exchange. However, I would love for us to spend some quality time together because that's what the holidays are about. Yeah, right. or maybe you should just say, you know what, everyone in the family, all the adults this year, we just focus on the kids. You say exactly. I'm the gift. Yeah. You bring or yourself. Have a <laughs> <laughs> or a white elephant party, yeah, you know, like you just have to buy one gift. Yeah. All right. Well, what about uh, when someone, perhaps a coworker, gives you a gift, but you don't have anything to give them in return? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't run out and buy a gift. They already know you don't have a gift for them, right? right? So this is what you do. You say, wow, I'm so surprised you gave me a gift. I didn't know we were exchanging gifts. So unfortunately, I don't have one for you, but thank you so much for your generosity uh -huh. in getting me one. Just That's be honest. Yeah. Be honest, right? You, you just have to just be honest and then open the gift and be so surprised regardless of what it is mm -hmm. because yeah. they really thought about you mm -hmm. to get you the gift. So you really want to act act like you really love the gift. And it's better to give than receive. Yeah, absolutely. So like, yeah. Giving from your heart, mm -hmm. you know, you really don't yes. expect any that, anything yeah. back. You absolutely. feel good being able to give. Like yes. you said, it's it's finding that I love finding the perfect gift for someone. And <laughs> right. if it's homemade or if it's just a thought or something. Right. Yeah. We're, we're just so focused on giving gifts that we're just losing the holiday spirit around. Well, it's a gift to have you here oh, in the studio Oh, thank you. Today. I love being And here. we appreciate it, Patty. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. All right. And for more money-saving advice, go to P Patty's website or follow her on TikTok. The information is right there on your screen.